Hi, I'm Kelly Stamford. I'm a science communicator and researcher at the University of Hull's Energy and Environment Institute. My main study is looking to use card games as a form of science communication, uh, especially when communicating flood risk to communities. I've always been interested in science from a very early age. I watched countless documentaries on TV as a kid and I also read loads of books on space and space exploration. But despite this, even though I was interested in the sciences at a young age, I felt that these interests were never picked up by my teachers. So I was always dissuaded into going down the route of STEM research. It wasn't until my college years that my love for science was rekindled and I started exploring ways to integrate science into my art. I found that by doing that, it actually piqued the interest of my peers in these scientific subjects. They'd come up to me when I was creating these pieces asking, oh, what's this about? What does this do? I found that this was a great way to spark people's interest in these topics that normally they wouldn't approach. During my university undergrad, I studied art history, looking at how science and the art had intertwined over the years and how artists had used art and science together as a way to spark the public's interest in these topics and explore these concepts through different means. I feel like interdisciplinary and creativity in science is really important. Science communication is an important part of being a researcher, I feel. Mainly, doing science communication means to communicate your research or someone else's research to the greater public in ways where they can understand it despite not being from your subject area or generally maybe not even having any knowledge of science in the first place. I think some of my highlights of doing research at the University of Hull has been creating a card game uh, it's, been, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to create a card game and to create one that can be used uh, in a science outreach setting and actually help communicate what people can do about flooding and the environment. I think that's just, that's just been incredible. It's just been so rewarding seeing this project come to life and turn into a physical thing. <laughs> that I can hold and I can show people and it can actually, you know, help people as well. I think one artwork I'm particularly proud about is the stem bee that I created back in 2018. I created this six foot tall bee sculpture which was embellished with scientific imagery. We also had 80 odd scientists come and sign the bee in order to represent the research currently being done in the city. After the two months of it being on display for the public to interact with and read all the science facts, it was eventually auctioned off the charity, raising £22,000 for homeless charities around the area, showing that science communication projects can also help the community on a wider scale. If I wasn't a science communicator, I'd probably still be going down the path of art history, but still obviously trying to combine science and scientific subjects uh, within my discipline. My message to the next generation would be, don't take no for an answer. If someone tells you you can't do something, just prove them wrong. I mean, I've been told plenty of times, because I'm a woman, that I can't do this, this or that, or something's too hard. Uh, I would just use that as fuel to prove them wrong. <laughs>